Hi, David here with Soul Sound Audio. Today we're going to talk about testing the latency in Logic Pro and also the best setup for tracking instruments and then for mixing. There's a couple of great things here that um, you don't want to miss. It's really important. So we're going to start off testing the latency. So we're going to hit uh, Apple comma to bring up our preferences here. Uh, we're going to go to devices. Um, this here is how we compensate for our latency. So to figure out what our latency is, we go to a track, we go to the IO plugin, got it set up here. And we're going to actually cable an output to an input on our sound card. Um, you can also do this digitally if you've got um, a mixer or something um, going. Uh, then once you've got that set up, you're going to ping it. If it's set up right, it will give you a value here. This is how long it takes the ping to get all the way around. And you're going to enter that as a negative value here. So it'll compensate for that extra delay that's going on. All right. Pretty simple. Now this changes, so you kind of want to check it periodically. Um, it changes depending on what's going on in the session. Um, I've found, I don't really know, uh, I haven't found any hard, fast rule to, um, to keeping it at a certain value. But yeah, just check it, you know, before you go in and, and start doing vocals or recording or whatever. So that's that. Um, so let's jump over here. Um, and look at the plugin delay compensation. Um, this is really important. If you've got this in all um, and you're trying to record a software instrument like this piano, see how late that is? Super late. Even in low latency mode, doesn't help it. So if you go to here, can't even hear it. They're right together. So. Um, this is set up for compensating for the buses and everything else that's going on in the session. So depending on what you got going there, that could be huge. Um, you generally don't want to be an off. This is no plug-in delay compensation for anything. Um, this is going to be for what it says, all audio and software instrument checks. So use this when you're tracking. Um, any of your MIDI instruments um, and all that stuff. Um, low latency mode, that's, that still can help, but this is, this is the key. Um, low latency mode, just basically anything that's beyond that, that carries more than nine milliseconds of delay into the chain, <clears throat> Logic will disable that until you, um, until you leave low latency mode. All right, so there's one more thing that's really important. Um, when you're talking about tracking versus mixing. That's the IO buffer size. Um, generally, you want it as low as possible for tracking. Um, and then you probably will have to raise it up when you get to mixing and adding a lot of plugins. So, I mean, again, there's no hard and fast rule. It's just kind of you listen for clicks and pops and get as low as you can. You probably, I mean, 128 is, as you heard, is, is pretty dang good.